So how did my league starters pan out after the patch notes? Some of you might be wondering, hopefully. Patch notes not too devastating, honest to God. I expected every single one of my builds to get utterly destroyed and thrown in the trash. But there's only kind of a couple of them, okay? As far as league stars are concerned, the only one that's real kind of like iffy or whatever is Cold Dot. Cold Dot's in a kind of odd place right now where you used to have Vortex on the left mouse button, triggering all the time, going down all the time. You got a huge circle, deals damage while you're leveling. That's really sick. And then you just auto lay it on the boss because it's on left mouse button. Well, now Vortex has a cast time. While its damage over time hasn't been modified, you can't have it on left mouse button anymore. And what that means for Cold Dot is your clear is just going to be worse and it's going to have another button and it has a big ass cast time, man. Like what the hell? So now the leveling, you probably just go wintertime brand. You could do whatever. But man, when you're playing Cold Dot, it's got the same damage as before, but it's just clunkier. It's a, it's like a six button build now. Okay, we'll break it down. You have shield charge on space bar, creeping frost on right click, then on Q or one, right? I'm just going to do Q, W, E, R. Q, you have your hatred on blessing. W, you have your cold snap. E, you have your vol cold snap. R, you have your curse. On T, you have frost blink. And now, on your second hot bar, we filled up every single gem. On your alternate hot bar, you have to put vortex down and then cast that yourself. Now, the thing is, I already was doing a curse on hit setup to remove a button. Now you got you got another six button. Dude, it's too many buttons. It's way too many buttons. I don't know if I can recommend someone to play this, especially when you could just play DD instead, right? If you're a new player, you want to build all content like man, cold dot wasn't so bad before you got vortex. You just pop vault cold snap, but now it's just like your clear is a little bit worse. I don't know, man. I don't know. But CF champ though. CF champ though, corrupting beaver champion though. Oh my God. They buffed our reap damage. I think it was something like 20% more damage when you've got your vol reap stacks up. What the f hell? Yeah, I, corrupting fever champion. Okay, LA or CF champ. These are the two blaster builds to consider. Personally, I'm going to play some CF champ, man. I love doing Delhi. Uh, I, I've just been playing in every league. Okay, I'm a CF champ sucker. And they buffed it. And man, this might be the last time that I could play Corrupting Fever Champion. We'll see. Maybe it gets got with the lightning arrow changes. We'll see. We'll see. But man, I love Blast. I just want to boot up CF champ. I'm going to grind something. Not Expedition. Not this league. I swear to God, I won't. Legion or Ultimatum. That's what I'm going to do. Okay, CF champ login. And then I'm going to blast some Delhi. Okay, I'll keep it a buck. I'm going to blast some Delirium. Hell yeah. Okay, Bone Shatter, Jug, and Slayer. Slayer, totally fine. It got buff. Lamau. Okay, extra quality. You were never corrupting your Bone Shatter to 21. There's no Vol version. You'd only ever get it to level 20 with 20 quality. So we got some extra damage off of that. That's pretty gnarly, dude. Now, Jug, on the other hand, man, Jug is a lot weaker as an endgame option in SC Trade, where you can kind of blast on that Divergent Bone Shatter. You can kind of abuse all of that attack speed and whatnot. That just might not be an option. I mean, we'll see with the Transfigure Gems, but it might just not be doable. I don't know, man. We'll wait and see. But yeah, man, with Bone Shatter Slayer, if there's no Divergent Bone Shatter, hell, dude, you just log in on Slayer and do Karn's Tainted Pack stuff afterward. Bone Shatter Jug, hey, man, you're still thick and juicy. Hell yes. You just don't get to do that Ashes Divergent Bone Shatter stuff, but, you know, it'll still be tanky, still Bone Shatter. Just, uh, you know, a lot less damage on the top end. If you've been watching this stream, you already know, but I'll be releasing a detonate dead guide. Okay. And this detonate dead is pretty good because you know what I did? <laughs> You'll never guess what I did. I just opened up every single detonate dead POB I could. And I tried to make the best goddamn version of it. I mean, it's really nothing too crazy. The craziest thing I did on detonate dead was I'm just using dread banner and a brutal restraint and energized armor. Okay. I swapped a banner. I added two unique jewels to the top end, changed some aura effect, and it's got 95 evade chance. It's got 40k armor, and you've got 15 million DPS, but, you know, that's the stars aligning, crocking, you know, whatever. But hey, even if it's half that without the EO proc, without the whatever, with the whatever, whatever, you've got like an 8 million ignite with those kind of stats. Man, you're going to be chilling in ultimatum. You're going to be chilling when you're doing your bosses.
It almost makes me want to play DD. Almost. But come on. I got to boot up that CF champion. And another Ignite build. I'm going to be doing a mob mischief too. Yeah, same as last league. Uh, you know, I was kind of hoping that this league would be like a bossing league. If it was a bossing league, bro, I would have booted it up and logged into mob. But it's not a bossing league. You know, patch notes. There's like one new boss, uh, but you know, he's just going to kind of be like Lycia where you just go in there and kill him. You know, <laughs> you're not like farming him or anything. Uh, I thought maybe there'd be like a like Maven's mom, right? Like, you know, but no. So Moss, same old. I mean, the Stone Golem stuff, uh, Stone Golem from my POB calculation, it went from 165,000 HP to 163. Like it went from 24 million DPS to 23.9 million DPS. Like on a... <laughs> you know, it's like absolutely no change at all. You're just going to have access to cool new ascendancy options and, you know, whatever the hell you can get on your charms. Hell yeah, bro. Log in. But yeah, ma bossing. Okay. As far as mid game build, bro, end game builds on Macro Vortex Ignite. I am praying, please give us an instant Vortex. Okay. Don't, don't remove Vortex Ignite. Come on, man. That was such a fun build. You just run around. You're like skating through delirium maps, dropping your vortex. The ignites pop. They prolift. The explode goes. It prolifts your ignite. This the whole screen chain exploding, igniting, proliferating, spreading. You can open like seven breaches and you're just shield charging around through all of them. And everything's dying. It was great. It was fucking fantastic. That would suck if they got rid of vortexes dropping on the ground instantly. That would be awful. That would suck. We'll see. Who knows? Transfigure Gems. The biggest question mark in PoE right now. So many builds are hinging on Transfigure Gems. Not too many of mine. Really just Ignite Vortex at this point. Anyways, quick summary. Okay. Coming up this week. League Start Build Guide videos. Corrupting Fever Champion. Dead Nade Dead Elementalist. Maw Mischief Elementalist, tell you. And the Boners. We got Junk and Slayer Boner. Keep your eyes peeled. That's what I got planned. Let me know if you got some cool shit. I mean, we're going to have a bunch of cool endgame builds, but as far as League Start's concerned, it's kind of same old, same old for me. There'll be a couple of fun, cool new things, I'm sure. Somebody will get baited into whatever Jungrone's peddling, but you get to go with the old reliable if you want this League Start, or you could try some new and spicy shit. Hell yes. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Logan, brother.